Pearl Tutorial Part 10 Operators and Presidents Now today's tutorial will explain how to add, subtract, divide, multiply and use various operators so let's create a sum equals 4 plus 3 Let's print our sum. We get that number 7, that's no surprise. We can also subtract one number from the other. So let's subtract 4 minus 3, and that's our sum 1. Let's multiply 4 by 3. We use the uh, star symbol and that is shift 8. We'll get you the star shape there. Our sum will now equal 4 times 3, which is 12. And we can divide. 4 divided by 3 is 1 point something. Okay, so if it doesn't divide exactly, we get a floating point number. Now we can get rid of as many of those numbers so we can actually get this to read 1.3 if we like. Or we can just make it an integer, but we'll just leave it like that for now. And I'll discuss that later on. Of course, if we divide a number that will divide exactly, we will not get a floating point number 2. Now what will happen if we want to divide or subtract or add or multiply more than one number together? So let's add a few numbers together. 4 plus 2 plus 4 will give us the sum of 10. Okay, simple enough. Now what what will happen if we want to multiply here? So will it add 4 plus 2 which equals 6 and then multiply 6 by 4 to give us the result 24 or will it multiply 2 by 4 to give us 8 and then add 4 to 8 to give us the result 12. Let's run it. Okay, it gives us the result 12. Now, that is because the multiplication takes precedence over addition. So what happens in this equation here is it first multiplies 2 by 4 to give us 8 and then adds 4 to it to give us the sum of 12. Now if we don't want to have that we can put the 4 plus 2 in brackets so the 4 plus 2 will get acted on first so 4 plus 2 is 6 and then it will multiply by 4 so it will multiply 6 by 4 to give us the result of 24. So that's because of precedence. Similarly, division takes precedence over addition and subtraction. So 4 plus 2 divided by 4, what will get that give us, well that will give us 2 divided by 4 would be 0.5. 4 plus 0.5 is 4.5. Okay, four and a half. If we wanted the division, or sorry, the addition to take precedence over the division, we put it in brackets. Now let's let's make just make this a four to make this um, division an integer. Four plus four is eight. Divided by four should give us two. 
Okay, the answer is two. Auto increment and auto decrement. Okay, so we have two numbers. Both equal to 10. If we print num1 and postfix the auto increment, this will do the auto increment after the value is returned. So this will print out 10. So if we were to print num1 after the auto increment post fix we will get the number 11. Okay, so if we prefix the auto increment to num2, the auto increment will happen before the number is returned. So this will print out 11. So we will get 10, 11, and 11. And if we go on to print out num2 again, it will print out 11. So when we run this, we will get 10, 11, 11, 11. The same applies with auto decrement. So number 1 equals 10, print num1, so this will still print out 10, and here it will print out 9. Num2 is prefixed decrement, so that will print out 9, and 9 again. like so. So letter equals A letter plus plus print print letter so letter equals A letter plus plus print letter Let's run it. It's the letter B. If we change this to the letter Z or Z, it gives us AA. If we change this to ZZ, it gives us AAA. You get that? If we change this to C, it gives us D. We change this to a capital A, gives us a capital B. Using the minus minus with letters doesn't seem to work. See, we've got a result of minus one, which is basically an error. It doesn't work. So just remember that. So that's how to auto increment numbers and letters.